Infernal greetings, everybody. This is Reverend Jack with the United Satanic Empire. And today I'd like to talk to you about a very insightful man who was an agnostic. His name was Clarence Darrell. He once made the statement, I do not believe in God any more than I would Mother Goose. And he was an agnostic again. He once made a statement that said, or went like this, the first half of our life is ruined by our parents, and the second half of our life is ruined by our children. Now let's examine that. The first half of our life is ruined by our parents. The way I see that, that first half of that statement is yes the first half of your life is ruined by your parents because they are cramming this religion down upon you that teaches hatred that teaches murder that teaches rape that teaches enslavement that brags about bashing babies heads on rocks laying in wait and slaughtering people entering a land and slaughtering men women and children and enslaving the virgins to be raped and your slaves. I'd say that pretty much ruins your life because you're then brainwashed into this that cult that allows nothing but what they accept and what they say. So they inbred all this hatred into you and when the hatred is inbred inbred into you then yes they have ruined your life. They put this set of values from a archaic book that is nothing but a, a conglomeration of myths and fairy tales. And they make these expectations upon you and you, you can't live up to them. So yes, it, it does destroy that part, your first half of your life. And then when they say that your children, your children ruin the second half, The only way to interpret that is that because of all the brainwashing and the hatred you bred into your children and brainwashed into them, that you suffer the wrath of that hate. You suffer the wrath of all the anger that's built up inside the child. Children that resist the parents from running their lives and think for themselves they're the children who's going to make the lives better and when they become parents they're not going to ruin their children's lives with the Christianity hate and murder and violence and slavery and when that cycle ends That'll be the end to Clarence Darrell's insightful statement. The man knew more than people want to give him credit for. He was a very intelligent man, and that's the way I interpret that statement. If you want generations ahead not to live by the first half of our life is ruined by our parents, and the second half of our life is ruined by our children, then what you must do is you must break that cycle. Stop teaching that hate. Stop teaching that it's okay and to have this imaginary sky daddy that's going to forgive you for any vile act you do. So you have no responsibilities for all the hatred and the horrible vile things that you do to other people. The way you break that cycle 
is by the children that are resisting that hate not teaching that hate to their children thus ruining their child's life and then when the child gets older they won't have that hate built into them and they might love and respect their parents and then their children won't ruin the second <clears throat> part of your life that's how you end that cycle stop teaching that hate stop teaching that murder stop teaching the bigotry that comes with it start living for yourself start enjoying life and when you enjoy life you don't ruin your children's life and then they don't have that built-in hatred from you ruining their life when they are little that they ruin your life when you, they're older it's called respect you your children respect yourself and doing away with the false pipe dreams that breed all that hatred that breed all that bigotry and that breeds all the anger for the abuse that Christianity has placed on the people of the world today that's how you're going to end it children that are rebelling and resisting that brainwashing into the death cult I'll salute you because then you won't ruin your children's lives and hopefully they'll live free and determine their own way in life and respect you and therefore not ruin your second half of life keep resisting learn love instead of hate learn respect instead of murder those who don't accept earn the respect by giving respect so if you want to have the first half of your life pleasurable stop ruining your children's first half of their life if you want the second half of your life to be pleasurable teach your children to respect and you won't have a ruined second half of your life until the next time hail Satan hail thyself I was born ready motherfucker yo 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 it's the feast of the blood was sin unleash the beast within I walk around with the strength of a hundred men to press the rod before I count the ten Blood dripping from my canine Like a fountain pen I was born ready, motherfucker